<laughs> Good morning, I'm Olivia. <clears throat> Welcome to my Silver Sneakers Flex Chair Yoga class. Let's get going. As you know, I like to sit back for a moment, let go of <laughs> let go of things that happened this morning that you need to. I got a couple things I need to let go of. <laughs> Close your eyes. Come inside this room, inside your skin, on this chair. Give yourself that permission to be present. to your breathing in through the nose out through the nose in yoga it's going to keep warmth in the body moisture in the body more importantly and also much more calming to the nervous system yeah sometimes we need to exhale through the mouth but for the most part in through the nose out through the nose <clears throat> nice rhythm to it allow the belly to move out <clears throat> And then just for no reason at all, let the corners of your mouth turn up in a little bit of a smile. And just notice how that changes your mood. Eyes open, soft gaze. I always think that's kind of fun. Let's move out to the edge of the seat. Keep a that smile on your face. Breathe in a little joy, huh? So a very tip of the sit bones, and let's just kind of roll around them. All right, so one side to the tailbone, to the other side, a little bit forward. And then maybe go the other way. All right, and then find the very tip of the sit bones. Oh, let's see, I need just to put your chair right over here, honey. So nice and tall in your sit bones, all right? Let's come into seated mountain pose. So let the shoulders drop away from your ears. Lift the heart. Pull the navel in towards the spine. Now, take the deepest breath you've taken. You can go ahead and open your mouth. Exhale through the mouth. It's okay, I'm going over here. All right. And let the collarbones broaden so the shoulder heads are going to point toward the side walls. Lift that heart just a wee bit more. Yeah, you bet, you bet. And here we are in seated mountain pose, nice and tall. I'm going to take my hands on the ground, and that's going to remind my 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 legs, my hips to stay uh, grounded. And turning, look over the right shoulder. Now drop the chin, come up, and looking over the left shoulder. Ooh, just notice those good sensations in the back of the neck. And let's come back the other way. Oh boy, we need one more chair, John, if you could. <laughs> And lower down again, come right back up. All right, and then back to the center. Now, roll that right shoulder around, you know, turn the body a little bit, and then come to the left shoulder. One at a time, two more cheers. <laughs> and then again. And one more time, notice the body's kind of turning a little bit as you do this. All right, come back to the center, and let's take a big shoulder roll all the way around. Oh, I see Bob. He's going to help you back there. Thank you. And one more time. Oh, let's leave the arms out to the side. Hands behind your head. I like to think of this as lounge chair pose. So we're going to rotate the body again. Deep breath in. Exhale. Little twist. Bring that left elbow to the front. Come on back to the front. 
Exhale, try not to move the lower half of your body. Now, this is too much. Hands here, hands here, hands here. Doesn't matter to me. But you're rotating those ribs. So think about spiraling those right ribs forward. Come back. One more time. And back. Release the hands back down. Lift the heart. Tuck the tailbone and around the spine. I'm keeping my arms right there, surrounding my kneecaps. Don't pull them off. Just gently. And exhale. One more time. And down. All right, let's take another range of motion. I'm just going to take my hands on my hips right here. My feet a little bit wider. Arcing over. And come right back up. And as you do this, maybe you can actually feel those core muscles working right there in the body. Press that left sit bone down, and then press that right sit bone down so nobody's moving the hips. It's all in the upper body, right? If you feel this sit bone and this foot lift up, ground it. One more time. All right, and then we're gonna roll around. I thought I heard somebody else coming in. <laughs> Chair's all gone. <laughs> And then roll the other way, same thing. All right. All right, feet back underneath you, deep breath in. Gazing upward, look down towards the toenails. Inhale, halfway rise, look forward, and then put that sit bone and the tail, no, sit bones and tailbone right back on the chair. Release down, reverse swan dive all the way back up. Let's do it again, deep breath in. We forward fold. Look to the toes. Inhale, halfway rise. Put the sit bones and the tailbone back on the chair. So I'm going to kind of crank it back there because I tend to roll forward. Feel that low back open. Release back down all the way up. All right. Turn to the right. And let the arms float down. Nice and tall. Draw that right shoulder back. Maybe. Did you forget a shoe? A sock? Okay. <laughs> And come all back to the front. Deep breath in, we turn to the left. Let the arms float down. Roll that left shoulder back. Belly comes in, and your shoulders are parallel. Just release the hands down. Try not to, oh, just relax them. All right. And then come on back to the front. Walk the feet wide here. I'm going to drop that right knee down towards the earth and back up. And then the left one. You may want to hold on to the chair to do this so nobody falls out. <laughs> Spend time get a little hip flexor stretch in there. And then again. All right. Back to the front. Now up comes that right knee up and around. And get to meet with the legs. And again, hold that body still. So resist the urge to do all this. Head over heart over pelvis. And again. All right. Right back to the front. Extend it out. Bring it right back in. And again, extend it out. Try to hold that body absolutely still. I'm going to articulate my foot right here. Even my toes, I'm going to pull them back. All right, and we're going to hold this out. Now, nice and tall, pulse the leg up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release it down. Slide it back in. The other side. All right, nice and tall. Ground through this right foot here will help you to not do a lot, so much wiggling. So press that right foot into the ground. And again, and then right to the front. Here we go, heel out, toes coming back. Heel in, toes going down, and again. Out and back in. Use the hand, maybe don't, you decide. Four more. Three. Sit even taller, two. And here's the last one. We're gonna pulse eight, seven, Six, five, body still, five, four, three, two, one, and release down all the way back in. All right, I'm gonna open them up while I'm get deeper into the hips now. Come forward and around. Now rock back just a little bit and around. Fire on the core muscles, come back. If I should say, if that's accessible to you. And then let's switch and go the other way. So we unwind. Oh my goodness. And one more. All right, turn the toes to the front. 
and then holding this forward fold, bring the heart forward, little baby cobra. Exhale, round the spine and roll back. Inhale, heart comes forward, little baby cobra, nice. And up over the sit bones, tuck the tailbone. One more time. This time we're gonna release down and roll back up. I'm gonna use my hands and push off, coming all the way up. All right, deep breath in. Hands back to the front. We're gonna stand up. You know, you have choices here, here, here. Use the chair, whatever you need. Deep breath in. And step up. Deep breath in. All right, we're gonna forward fold. Here's that little vinyasa. Slide up towards the crease of the hip right here. Now today, what I want you to do is take a closer look at the earth. So soften the knees if you need to as you lower that uh, uh, heart down towards the ground. Point the tailbone to the back wall, pull that belly in, squeeze the shoulder blades inward, and then release around the spine, roll back up. All right, deep breath in, and all the way down. All right, let's go back to the back. Grab yourself a drink of water on the way. And we'll take some cat and cow first. Any hair ties in? I did not. So, I thought I had a hair tie. Do I have something pinned to me? It looks like a spider. <laughs> okay, step away from the chair so you've got room for this. We're going to inhale, bring the heart forward. It's like you're pushing that heavy grocery cart. And then exhale, tuck the tailbone underneath you, round the spine. Tuck the chin towards the chest, you're looking back towards the thighs. My knees are bent, my arms are bent a little bit. Then let's straighten the arms, straighten the legs. Eyes up, heart forward. You wanna look and see where you're going. And then exhale, we round. This is just cat and cow first. All right, so we wanna move that spine. And down. One more time. And down. All right, step all the way back to downward facing dog. I like to splay my fingers out. If that works for you, great. You need to put a grip on the chair. That's okay, too. Soften the knees as much as you need to to get into this. I want you to point that tailbone to the back wall. And that means you're going to have to tilt it forward towards the thigh muscles in the front of the legs. You feel that great stretch? Soften the knees as much as you need to. Then imagine somebody's trying to pull your hips straight, straight back. Let's go straighten the arms out a little bit more, but you decide how deep, depending on your shoulders. Again, one more breath. Without moving the feet, turn the tailbone towards one corner of your imaginary box. And then same thing the other way. Don't turn the feet, just turn the hips. Come back to the center, tuck the tailbone, scoop the belly and walk into the chair. Coming into mountain pose. So heels are right underneath the sit bones, shoulders going to draw towards the side walls. You bring that tailbone down to the earth and the knees will soften just a little bit. Now I'm going to lift one arm up and press the other one back. And then we switch. Now you take this range of motion that works for you here. All right. Just keep pressing. Palm up, palm to the front, one palm to the back. Just keep that range of motion. You want to keep that so you can reach to the back of your neck. And one more time, reaching up. Let's take both arms up, turn the palms inward, and open them up. All right, very nice. One hand on the chair. I'm going to push the hips over to the right and reach over to the left. Pass through the center. So when we come into that um, triangle pose, I say push your hips over to the left. That's what I mean. And then again, I'm just going to push over a little bit. Nice side stretch when this happens. And again. Nice big side stretch. All right, one more each way. Feels good to me. Hope it does you too. And last one. All right, coming right back to mountain pose. I'm gonna lighten up on my left heel, on my right heel. Still mountain pose here. And then let come to the toe. Let it creep up and balance. You can use the chair if you need to. Curl the heel to your seat, hinge at the hip, and shoot it way back there, toe ball heel. Get that foot into the ground and feel that great stretch now. Once again, it's like you're pushing the grocery cart or maybe at this point the lawnmower. <laughs> but you should be getting a nice, a really nice stretch on that back heel there. All right, ooh, I need to stay here for a minute. It feels so good. Okay, 
and rise up. Here comes that nice warrior one, nice and tall. Bend the shoulder, and drop the shoulders. A little bend in the elbow will help you do this. Cross over, stretch across the back, and then we open and stretch the chest. Point the elbows to the back diagonal of your imaginary box here. And again, go ahead, tuck the chin. Lift the heart and chin. Back leg is straight, it's working hard here. Front knee is right over the ankle and open. And one more time if this works for you. And now we're gonna hinge at the hip and hold that beach ball right back there on your tailbone right there, all right. Slide it down towards the heel. Feel the back of the neck get really long when you do this. Lovely, reach to the ceiling, step both feet together. We're reaching out, take a deep breath in. And we lift that left heel. Using the chair if you need to, come to the, dough, to the toe. Lift the knee, curl the heel towards your seat. And here's where we're gonna step back. Hand on the chair whenever you need it. That toe is turned out just a little bit in the back. All right, rise up. Deep breath in, drop your shoulders, connect the ribs to the hips. Let's take the hands this time. Wiggle in the fingers. Yeah, very good. All right, so again. Exhale, tuck the chin. Inhale, open. The elbows are going to press back. Again, one more time. And press them back. And this time, hinge forward. You're going to hold that beach ball right back there. Keeping the heart coming forward. It's like it's going to arc right over the chair. So let's not drop down. Keep the heart coming forward. Nice long line from the crown of the head to the heel. And we circle sweep. Weight on that front foot. Reach to the ceiling. All the way out, keep breathing. And step back so you don't hit your face. We're gonna take this little vinyasa. We forward fold, halfway rise, circle sweep, pass through chair pose briefly, all the way up. And step in on the right foot and back on the left foot, and we're gonna turn to the left wall. All right, now we're gonna come into star pose right here. My toes are turned out just a little bit. And as we come into um, sunflowers, if you need to use the chair, it's right there, okay? Otherwise, we're gonna hinge at the hip and come right back up. Now this is about bending the knees, right? So I need you to bend the knees to come down. And if you're afraid of, you might not get back up, use the chair, it's okay. But I want you to think about uh, a plie here. As you forward fold, if you get good at it, maybe take the gaze down and up. And one more time. Reaching into star pose, drop your shoulders, right hand on the chair, bend the left knee, the knee that's furthest away from me, and then arc that hand over towards the front of the, or towards me. All right, back up to star pose. Now, circle sweep that arm around to the chair. What I want you to do is lift that back heel all right, so my back heel is up, and it's right straight up, okay? It's not dropping off, right straight to the ceiling. Sink into that back knee. So it's like we've come into a lunge here. And then see if maybe we could find balance with one hand. Now fire the core up, shoulders back here, nice and tall. There you go. And then just switch to the other hand. I'm gonna circle this arm back and come back to the front. Using that right hand on the chair, I'm going to circle the other one back and back to the front. Let's do that again. Drop that left hand on the chair if you need it. You should notice that you are just turning in the rib cage here ever so slightly, and the legs are really working here. Hands to the heart. Lovely. Step both feet together. Reach up. And we're going to step back into star pose on the other side. So right foot back, left foot to the front, and my feet are, my toes are turned out here. All right, star pose, drop your shoulders. You gotta look at the wall, sorry. <laughs> sorry, so here we are. Make yourself as thin front to back as you can, which means you haven't hyperextended the body, right? The tailbone's coming underneath you, the ribs have been connected in the front, and your shoulders are down. Little micro bend, fire on the knees right here, and just hold this. Don't feel like you have to look at me, I'm not doing anything special yet. <laughs> All right, left hand to the chair if you need it. And here we go. F forward fold and coming back up. We call these sunflowers. Let your hands, your gaze, follow your hands down and back up. I want you to bend the knees and push.
push through the feet to rise back up. Don't let your head fall below your hips. Not that you would do that anyhow. These little beads on the ground make me nervous. <laughs> I feel like somebody could slip them like little ball bearings. And up. All right, one more time. Drop your shoulders. Put the left hand on the chair. Then the right knee. Take that right hand and arc over towards me. Getting a really great side stretch. Bring that belly in as you do this. Take the deepest breath you've taken. You got to work at that, right? All right, we're going to circle sweep that right hand around. It's going to come to the chair, and you're going to lift that back heel. Now, sink that back knee, and shoulders are on this wall behind you. I'm not bending deep. It's just a little bit of a bend in the knee. I can still pull the tailbone underneath me here. All right, so right hand on the chair if you're going to use the chair, and we're going to circle that left arm back. Come right back to the front, and we go the other side. Same thing. You're really firing on the legs to do this. All right, the feet are pressing into the earth. My glutes are tight. My hamstrings are working. So are my quadricep muscles. Let's go ahead and take one more. I'm liking this. And I like what I see. Very nice. Don't be afraid to turn that way as well. All right. Deep breath in. Step both feet together, and let's step back into that forward fold. Halfway rise. Hands come to the crease of the hip. You're looking over the chair. Now what I want you to do is lower the heart even deeper towards the earth, and that means you're gonna to need to bend the knees deeper. So the crown of the head reaches forward, and the tailbone reaches back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Let's extend the arms to the back, palms to the ground, squeezing the shoulder blades, belly in. Now get your feet into, set the, into um, mountain pose. So take the feet apart a little bit. We're gonna sink into the knees and come into chair pose, reach forward. Be sure you can still see your toes. I like to re look down first to see if I can. And then come back to that airplane pose, straightening the legs. Bend the knees, come into chair pose. Be sure you can still see your toes. Come back, really nice, really nice. And again. And back. Now from here, circle sweep the arms, and we're gonna stand up nice and tall. Beautiful. Let them shake down. Ooh, shake now. Grab a drink of water. All right. Take two today. <laughs> All right, let's take the chair that feet about chair width apart. Okay, so my toes are lined up with the chairs and they're facing the chairs first. We're gonna take some good old fashioned squats here, all right? Somebody used to, I heard somebody call this Kilgore. Remember they had his nose hanging over the fence? Yeah, so squatting down, come right back up. <laughs> if you don't need the chair, by all means, don't use it. But notice what happens. Are your knees buckling in? Are you rolling to the outside edges of your feet? I want you to keep the toes, all 10 of them, pressing down. Take the weight back towards the heels a little bit more, so maybe you could pick the toes up. And again, nice and smooth. And again, be sure you stand all the way up. Yes, very nice. And one more time. All right, let's curl the heel into your seat. All right, so we had a little balance option to this. Let's go right back to where we were, feet or hip distance apart. We're gonna step out to the side, squat, and pull the foot right back in, all right? Step out and squat, and then pull it back in. Use the chair if you need to. So we're squatting very wide, and then we come back. It's okay if you're doing this. I'm not surprised, it's okay but you work at stabilizing using your core. Toes facing straight ahead at this point, too. One more time. <laughs> All right, let's take the other side and see how we do with that leg. You probably have two different legs. I sure do these days. Here we go. So we're going to step out and bring it right back in. You can touch the toe on the ground if that feels best. I think you're all doing famously, though. And again. 
couple more. Let's just see if we can hold this one more time and see if we can hold it. Should have done that on the other side. Find your balance. You use the chair to find your balance if you need to. You've got that little micro bend. I've tucked that foot into my foot leg. How about that? Nice. Nice. All right. Again, shake out your legs. And let's step the right forward, right foot forward, and the and um, the left, that would be the other one, the left one back. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't think of what I called it. Okay, so we're gonna rock forward and lift the foot, rock back and bend the knee. Rock forward, lift the foot, go back and bend the knee. Now, if you don't need hands to do this, don't do it. Rock forward and back. Rock forward and back. Nice and tall. I'm just sinking that back knee is all. And one more time, and we're going to hold this airplane pose. Lifting the foot, squeeze the glute. Yep, chair if you need it. That's why she's there. Let the heart, let the front body lift. Like you got this wind coming up the front body. All right, with intention, put it right back down, nice and slow, and step back. All right. So, same thing here, you need to get that distance right for you. Lifting up, sink back. It's almost like you're using that back foot to, um, to push off. And again, airplane, sink back. Airplane, sink back. Nice. Use your hand on a chair, it's okay, it's fine. You're still working on balance. Three more. Two more. Last one, but this one we're going to hold. All right, here we go. Here's that airplane pose. Belly in, front body lifts. Drop your shoulders down the back. Breathe. All right, with intention, put that foot right back down. Step back, that vinyasa. Forward fold. Halfway rise. Lower down and let's reverse swan dive all the way back up. <clears throat> Deep breath and down. All right, so back to the chair. Walk, step, jump your feet out wide. Nice. Turn that right toe to the right wall and sink into the knee. Okay, I have to readjust my feet to get it in the right position here, but knee over the ankle, back leg straight. Doesn't matter how wide, but the wider you are, the better the balance, I'll say. Stretching the arms out far, far from your heart. The, the more you stretch it, the more you'll feel that tingle. And let's just take this little hinge. This is just in at the rib cage right there. And lifting up. Let this move so, so smoothly with your breath. However you're breathing, we all do a little bit different. You've got that baby toe edge and the left uh, right foot pressing into the ground. So you're not buckling into the knee. And one more time. All right, we're going to hold the side angle right here. Nice. And looking to the front. Yes. Lovely. Now maybe extended side angle. Let that hand float near the side of your face. Not past your nose. All right, but the side of your face. So I like to stretch my thumb back there a little bit and then stretch. Great. That's why in the beginning today we took that work with the shoulder, up, open up the shoulder there a little bit. And now we challenge the core a bit by reaching forward. Wow, amazing. All right, let's just try this as well. Take off your big sombrero and then come right back out. Whoa, lovely. Straightening that leg and here comes our triangle pose. Remember how we push the hips to the right? That's what I want you to do. Push them over and windmill the arms. So anytime you need to drop a hand, use a chair, please do so. Go ahead and look down towards the earth first. You know, what I want you to be sure you've got all toes, you're looking right straight down at them. And then turn the gaze to the front. Easy enough, huh? And then imagine you've got shoulders and you put them on the wall behind you. 
So let's not let this come forward and maybe turn the gaze skyward. Now to get out of this, I want you to sink into that knee and push right back up to the front. Deep breath in and down. All right, we go the other way, same thing. Bend that knee, situate your feet to what feels really good to you, where you're going to be able to stay. Knee over the ankle, baby toe edge pressing in. Now go the arms. All right. This time we'll take the arms up and down. And tuck the chin, bring in the breath. Lifting the gaze, whatever is comfortable, but then I want you to tuck the chin. Get a nice stretch in the back of the neck. And one more time, and we'll land in warrior two. Arms out. Whew. Stretch them out, drop the shoulders. How lovely is that, right? Looks fabulous. All right, we slide a little bit, rest the wrist, and let this arm float. Here is side angle. The bones are lined up right here. If it's too much, by all means, drop. Use any chair hand you need to. Now, I'm going to turn the palm and then let that float towards the side of my face. A lot of more work on the shoulder. But as you're doing that, lengthen. And maybe that will open that shoulder up a little bit more. All right, we reach to the front. Here's the tough part. We're going to take the hat off. <sighs> Reach. Lovely. Huh? Core muscles really have to fire on to do that. Nice. Beautiful. Come all the way back up. Straighten that front leg. I'm going to come from right here this time. We're reaching up. So long line. Long, long arms, long legs. Push the hips to the right. Reach to the left. And we would now coming into that triangle pose. Wherever the leg, the hands land, they land. Don't try to overstretch and get down. Windmill. You push the hips that way, and the hips are going to let you get where you need to. That's it. Breathing deep. One more breath. Okay, this time we're going to take this over the head. It's going to circle around, and we're going to come right back up. Nice soft knee will help you get back there. Walk your feet together. And hands to the heart. We're going to take this candlestick pose, draw this line up, and then stretching the arms as much as you can here. Stretch the side body as well. And then as the arms open, drop the shoulders as well. Downward facing dog. Step on that. Don't you love that? It's okay out there. You don't have to shush. It's okay. <laughs> Step the feet wide. So wider than chair lift if that's comfortable for you. And that may mean you can take this a little bit deeper when that happens. First, what I want you to do is keeping legs straight, push the hips over to the right. You'll feel a nice inner thigh stretch on the left. And then pass through the center, push them over to the left. Keep that right leg, left leg straight. The more you push, the more you'll feel that stretch in there. Now, take a little baby step into the chair. And we're going to release the right arm down to the ground. And I've got my left hand on the chair here, keeping that back straight. Inhale out to the side, comes that arm. Nice deep breath in. Another inhale. And on an exhale, you're going to lift that arm skyward if that's accessible. Yeah. Now, I do have my left arm bent here because I stepped into the chair a bit. Maybe that make it easier for you. And then release right back down. We go the other side. Same thing. Drop that arm down. And then it comes right out to the side. So it's parallel to the earth, right? My right arm has a little bend. Don't take a deep breath in. On an exhale, lifting it, twisting the body, lifting the arm up. What is ever accessible. Try not to look towards me. I want you to look towards the left wall. And then release back down. Walk the feet together. Hands back on the thigh muscles. Reverse swan dive all the way back up. And all the way down. All right, shake out. When you're in this position and you're trying to look back at me, if I were to stand up, I'd be like this, right? So I want you to keep keep that head in alignment with the rest of your spine. Always think about that. Grab a drink of water one more time, and then we're going to get some balance in it. As if we haven't been already. All right, 
left foot behind the chair, the right foot is gonna step out to the side. And now you've got this hand on the chair to start. You're gonna sink into that knee and bring that foot back. We're gonna come into triangle pose. But what, I don't mean triangle, tree pose. What I want you to do is, it's like you're pushing off and coming back. More of what we did now, this time we're gonna turn that toe out. So a little rotation in the hip. I'm gonna move this out to the side here. Stepping down, push back. Notice how that knee is out. We'll come into um, tree pose in a moment. Just want you to sense this, where your center is. You stop using that chair, boy, you fire on those core muscles and your feet really start to do some of the work here. And again, all right, this time we are gonna hold this and you may grab hold of the chair. I want you to find your balance most importantly. And if you can find balance using the chair with the foot off the ground, great. Now as we go to release the chair, you wanna put the toe back on the ground. Go ahead and do so. And that's what I call sapling pose. You could put the toe down too. Let's see if we can keep that knee turned out, and then we'll see if we can find some balance. This is where I want you to come to your breath. Put that right foot back and let's just shake out that leg. Why did you shut off on me? All right, we shall go to the other side. Stepping over. So, right foot behind the chair because that's where you're going to come back to. I want you to be able to use the chair. A little bend in the knee. It's like, oh, I put my water, put my toe in cold water and I want to get back out of it fast. And if you can use it without a hands, great. But you're still working on balance. You notice that leg starts to, foot starts to do this. That's a good thing. That's what you want to happen. It's that body trying to do that. And again. All right. So this next one, let's see if we can find balance. That knee has turned out just a little bit into tree pose this time chair if you need it when you drop that foot down. Otherwise, here we go. Find a breath. Find a focal point. Drop it back down nice and slow. Back to mountain pose. Let's step back. Forward facing dog. And stretch whatever you need to. You need another something different now? Go ahead and take it. Do it. I like to bend one knee and then the other knee. That sends one hip back a little bit further than the other. And it feels good to me. All right, hands on the thigh muscles. Reverse one dive all the way back up. I want you to step into the chair as we come into chair pose. So you can keep the hands here if you'd like. We're gonna, or not, or send them over the chair. It doesn't matter to me. But be sure you can still see your toes, all right? Then I'm gonna drop that chair, the hands to the chair, and I'm gonna lift up on that left leg and cross it over. Staying in this chair pose. All right, and I have hold of the chair here. You can get it to the ankle. You could cross it over. It doesn't matter to me. Whatever feels good. You know, I've been told not to cross the midline. Then just stay right there in chair pose because we're going to see if we can find it again now, right? One hand. Maybe two. I think you'll find this easier than you think. Now, I'm going to see if I can keep my leg there and stand back up and then release it down. Am I right? That's yeah, easier than yeah. you thought it was. It's because you've really lowered your center of gravity. Okay, we're gonna take the other side, deep breath, forward fold, and rise up. Okay, from here, we're gonna come into chair pose. 
I'm going to bring my hands back to my heart. Be sure you can see your toes. Maybe we find balance on one foot first. Begin to lift it and cross it. Keep that foot flexed. Chair is handy. Couple of breaths. Think long body here, tailbone reaching downward, crown of the head reaching the other way, shoulders are back. And slowly rise back up, see if you keep that leg there. And then release down. How about that, huh? Nice, really, really nice. No, it was good, it was good. Homework if you need it. All right, it's okay. Star pose. Ta da! <laughs> Let's circle sweep. Arms up. All right, choice. Clap. Your choice walk, step, jump your feet together. Bam. Reach and down. <laughs> okay, very nice. Grab a drink. Let's sit back down. Oh, I talked way too long. Okay, so we got that nice piriformis stretch in there just now. So we'll just move into a twist. And you, anybody, if you don't cross the midline, go ahead and keep your feet right there. That's fine. Otherwise, I'm going to lift my right leg over. <laughs> and keeping the um, foot flex that always protects the knee nice and tall. And we're going to use the core muscles to turn us first. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, turn the body. Don't look back to me looking towards the fingers um, right there in your center, and then maybe turn the gaze over that right shoulder. Now we can go ahead and release the hands down now. I'm gonna slide my right hand behind uh, back of the chair, lower, or the seat of the chair, and use it for a little more leverage. Try to take some deep breaths now. It's a lot of work, huh? It's tough to be on the side. It absolutely is. All right, and then come on back to the front. Let's bring this hand around to the front. All right, and then we're gonna press the knuckles together. Draw the elbows inward. Sit extremely tall. And then you can lift the hands off of your chest, hinge at the hip, and we're gonna bend down and touch the kneecaps with your elbows. Belly in as we lift right back up, around and down. Stretch that foot out, put the heel on the ground, hands on the back of the chair, squeeze the shoulders, lift the heart. So we undo everything we just did there. All right, other side, cross it over. Keeping that foot flexed, again, we're gonna use the core muscles to turn, so nice and tall. Exhale, twisting the spine. Another deep breath in. Have you got a little more twist in there? If you do, do it. And then we're gonna open the arms. And I like to hold the chair in the back. It's up to you. Take this breath you've taken. And exhale, come on back to the front, nice and slow. We're not spring-loaded. Drop across that hand over. Squeeze the knuckles, squeeze the elbows. Lift them upward so you're looking right beyond <clears throat> the wrists right there. And as you squeeze, you'll feel those shoulder blades separate in the back. Now, lift up a bit more. You're gonna hinge at the hip and touch the kneecaps with the elbows. Now, come right back up. Lifting up, around, and down. Stretch that leg out. Hold on to the chair. Shoulder rolls around. Lift the heart. Yeah. Then you can use that opposite foot. A little push up a little bit. Lighten the seat. It's up to you. All right. Let's take the feet wide. Now, uh, actually, we're going to lead with, and I say lead with the belly going forward and the heart because otherwise we'll come down this way. And we do that when we roll over, but this time we're gonna go over with a straight back to really open these hips up a little bit more. So lead with the front body here. It's like there's something on the ground you're trying to get a closer look at it and you wouldn't wanna drop your head, right? Yeah, so you take this range of motion that's good for you right here. Squeezing the shoulder blades in. I'm using my hands too, important. Deep breath. Now 
exhale. I am going to release and look down towards the earth, maybe underneath the chair. Pull the belly in, push off the hands, and roll the spine. Come right back up, nice and tall. Walk your feet in. Push back to the back of the chair. And let's take the legs out in front a little. Foot, ankle, toes, wrists, fingers, everything. Yeah. And then like you're walking up the chair, or the wall. Yeah. And then you're tiptoeing. Okay. And then everybody's ballet dancers, so your toes are down. <laughs> All right. And release them back down. Push into the back of the chair. Let's wrap the arms around the chair. So really sit back into it. Tuck at the shoulder blades underneath you there. And maybe lift the heart a little bit more. I guess I would, might even call this maybe like seated fish pose. What do you think, shall we, huh? Maybe shoulders are tucked underneath. You've got the heart lift. Tucking the chin here. So there's a little space under my back. Let's not let the head fall back. All right. And then just release. Put the spine back on the chair. Open eyes wide. Open your mouth wide. Close everything up. And then just release the face. A few moments of some stillness. Come back to just some seated meditation and your breath, remembering how you felt when you came in. Is it different now? Hope so. You should feel, mm, I don't know, just a little more of those endorphins floating through your body. and then find yourself sinking into the chair deeper. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bring the hands together. Marvel the way they mirror image one another. You line those lines up in your fingers. Grateful for that. Drop your chin to your chest. Bring the thumb into the heart. Cultivating thankfulness for being part of life blossoms into a feeling of being blessed. Namaste, friends. Nice, nice work. Great job today, huh? All righty. Have a great week. I'll see you Wednesday. Yeah? Thank you. I need that affirmation from you all. Yes, this is just the first week. Yeah, I'll see you Wednesday. Good work.